Welcome to this video. Here are tips on how you can improve the symmetry and mobility of your face if you have had facial palsy for several months or longer. I also recommend the video with important tips on how to perform exercises. Your facial nerve transmits signals from your brain to trigger a movement in your facial muscles, for example to raise an eyebrow or smile. If the nerve is damaged, you initially have a flaccid paralysis as the muscles cannot receive signals from your brain. This means that the side of your face hangs floppily. This is particularly noticeable in the area around the eyes and the mouth. During the healing process, the nerve begins to regenerate and to regrow and new connections from the nerve to the muscles develop. In this paretic stage there is still some weakness but you will notice improvements in facial mobility. You will be able to close your eye better again and will be able to raise your eyebrows slightly with the help of your forehead muscle. And your lips can seal your mouth better when drinking. The healing of the nerve takes place at different speeds and in a different way depending on how severely the nerve is damaged. If the nerve is severely damaged, the healing process can be very slow and inappropriate or faulty. This can lead to the nerve later triggering a movement in other muscles or different muscles at the same time or activating excessive tension. This can lead to overactivity in various muscle areas and cramped and tense muscles on the affected side. This abnormal muscular behavior due to an inappropriate nerve healing is called synkinesis. You may have the feeling that things actually were better before and that now your mobility has deteriorated again. However, this is then probably not a sign of weakness but a kind of synkinesis and overactivity of some muscles. This may look like this, that the eye on the affected side is less open than on the healthy side because the ring muscles around the eye is overactive and tense. It contracts in a ring shape and thus partially closes the eye. The eyebrow on the affected side may be slightly higher than on the healthy side because the forehead muscle is permanently tense and is pulling up the eyebrow. The corner of the mouth on the affected side may be lower than on the healthy side, but this in this stage of the healing process is then not a sign of weakness, but instead the muscles below the corner of the mouth and here at the side of the neck, they are tense and pull the mouth and corner of the mouth downwards and impede the mouth from smiling. So you see there are tense muscles that produce an asymmetry and that also impede other muscles in their work and that block a movement. So the following tips will help to loosen and relax these muscles to create more symmetry in your face and the possibility to move in the correct way. Please carry out the following massages and stretches without a mirror because it's important to learn to feel and to sense your muscles. So you will have to get to know how your muscles feel when they are tense and how they feel when they are relaxed, like on the healthy side. So it's important to concentrate on the feeling in your face to learn to react when you feel that there is tension and overactivity, to regulate the tension in your face. So always compare how the tissue feels on the healthy side in comparison to the affected side. The healthy side serves as your model, so you will know where you will need more relaxation on the affected side. Massage in particular the affected side in slow circular movements as you feel comfortable and you ask yourself where do you feel tension on the affected side? And does it already feel as stretchy and as flexible as on the healthy side? So you compare the feelings that you have on both sides. I recommend you perform the massages regularly every day to regulate the tension in your face and make your tissue softer and more flexible again. You will find the link to the massage video in the description box below. You can also apply heat for approximately 15 minutes on the tense regions of your affected side to promote relaxation. It's also important to stretch the tense muscles on the affected side several times a day because they are very shortened and tight and 
As you stretch them, they become longer, the symmetry can restore and movements will be easier possible again. So if you do these stretches several times a day regularly, a more relaxed posture will become a habit. It's also possible to relax tense and overactive muscles with a Botox injection. The effect lasts for several months. There are also surgical options to normalize the position of your eyelids and in some cases there are also surgical options to normalize the general symmetry on the affected side. I'm now going to show you how you can stretch the tense muscles on the affected side. Put your palm on your forehead and draw downwards to stretch your forehead muscle. You can hold the stretching position for about one minute and repeat it if necessary. As an alternative, one hand can hold the tissue above and the other hand draws the muscle downwards. Always compare how the stretching feels on the healthy side to compare the feeling on both sides and to know where it needs more relaxation on the affected side, as the healthy side serves as a model. In order to stretch the muscles that pull your eyebrows inwards and downwards, hold the tissue at the root of your nose with two fingers and pull the muscle diagonally upwards and outwards. I recommend you pause the video from time to time to perform all the stretches slowly and at your own pace. When stretching your eye ring muscle, hold the tissue above the inner corner of your eye and pull outwards towards the temple with two fingers above the upper eyelid. For the outer part of the ring muscle, hold the tissue at the outer end of the eyebrow and pull downwards towards the cheekbone with the other hand. Now stretch the lower part of the eye ring muscle by holding the tissue below the inner corner of the eye with two fingers and gently pulling outwards along the bone below the eye with the other hand. Do all the stretches slowly and multiple times, remembering to compare each muscle with a healthy side. You can stretch the eyelid by holding it gently downwards with your finger. Place your other hand on the eyebrow and gently pull upwards. Alternatively, you can also hold the eyelid downwards with two fingers on the inner and outer corner of the eye. Be careful not to feel uncomfortable or not to press against the eyeball. In order to stretch the different muscles in your cheek, grasp the cheek with the opposite hand by holding the cheek with your thumb from the inside and from the outside with two or three fingers. You can also hold your lower eyelid upwards with your opposite hand and stabilize it so that it is not pulled downwards too much. Now gently and slowly stretch the individual muscles towards your mouth like on the face of a clock. Take your time with the movement to avoid the risk of straining or injuring the muscles. Let's now move on to the inner cheek muscle. You can use your index fingers on the inside of your cheek to compare how the two sides feel. If you close your eyes, you can also determine whether there is any contraction when you close your eyes. In order to stretch this muscle, pull from the back to the front with one or two fingers of the opposite hand. Be careful here too and perform the stretches slowly and gently to avoid pulling or injuring the muscle fibers. We're now going to stretch the ring muscle around the mouth. Hold and stabilize the upper and lower lip with the index finger of the opposite hand and then use the other index finger to gently and slowly pull the corner of the mouth outwards. This movement stretches the upper and lower part of the ring muscle. Again, compare how soft and stretchy the muscle feels on the healthy side. 
stretch the lateral neck muscles which extend upwards over the jawbone by gently pulling them upwards. Make sure that you do not press against your larynx when stretching the front part of this muscle. I very much hope that these tips will help you and improve your mobility and symmetry. I wish you a very speedy recovery and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.